And so most of what I'm going to be doing today is going to be demonstrating how we're using Jasper for things like character development, customer avatar research, outlining books, brainstorming book titles, now all sorts of things, nonfiction and fiction alike that are all elements to storytelling, to helping people solve problems through the written word. And then keeping in mind throughout all this process, yes, we're using the word book. And it's that, that's primarily how we started the AI author in the first place was through a seven day book challenge, which is starting on March 7th. If you're interested in joining us live, go to the AI author.com and for membership details, but we're going to be doing that event live starting next Tuesday. It was two years ago, I think in February of 2021. 2021 in February, the first seven day book challenge happened inside of the Jasper Facebook group, the official community, and it spawned out of a weekend before I was sitting basically in my house at the time that I was living in and at my office, I was like, just really frustrated as a freelance copywriter. I specialized in Amazon copywriting. And that means basically building Amazon listings, anything from titles to bullet points to product descriptions that are a little bit more elaborate to what's known as A plus content, which is just more branded content that you'll see in an Amazon product page. And then also listing images and everything. So I was doing copywriting, creative director for Amazon builds. It was a lot of work and I was really burnt out. And this was leading up to December in 2022. I'd been doing this for several years at this point, And I was really like very burnt out to say the least. But part of my frustration was most of my business would be coming from Upwork. I was a top freelancer for a while in the copywriting space for Amazon listings and great profile and would generate leads very consistently off of there, but it wasn't always like the highest quality leads. And I, I was always feast or famine, right? Okay. Get five clients at once, do all the work. Now I need to go get five more clients. It's like, how do I start generating content for my business to start attracting higher quality clients, people that I just specialize in working with. And really that's where I was when I started talking with Austin Distel and Dave Rogan Moser. Dave is a CEO and co-founder of Jasper and Austin was one of their very first employees. We got to talking because they just got access to this AI tool called OpenAI, which if you're familiar now is the tool that powers quite a few is on the back backside of quite a few or most of the AI generative content tools right now. Also, that's the company behind ChatGPT. And this was two and a half years ago, if not a little bit more, where this was Proof at the time. They were, Dave was CEO with Austin, is the CMO of a company called Proof, and they had a social proof widget. And it was working, but they were at a stage in their game where they weren't really sure what the next step was. And what they were really good at was Facebook ads and scaling Facebook ads. And so they got access to open AI and started using it for Facebook ads for their own business. And like, how do we write Facebook ads with this AI tool? How can we use this AI to help us optimize our Facebook ads with copy and such? So with that in mind. They were just building a tool for themselves and playing around with it. And I happened to be Austin Distel's roommate at the time. And where he said, Hey dude, check this AI stuff out. Like it's pretty cool. What do you think about it? I was like, I think this could be really helpful for me in helping scaling up my Amazon listing production. Right? So I was, I'm already writing a bunch of Amazon listings. How can this AI tool help me not only write Amazon listings, but what else can it help me do? And that led me up to the end of January, sitting on my computer saying, okay, <laughs> I got to figure something out. I, and I'm just writing a blog with Jasper and Sean Vossler, who's now the affiliate manager at Jasper made a really cool post in the Facebook group. It was about how he was going about using some of the templates and just templates back then there wasn't even boss mode to create like a solid blog post. And I was like, wow, that's incredible. And so I started following the process that he used and basically ended up with about 5,000 words of a rough draft of a really in-depth blog post on everything I could think of Amazon copywriting for in an hour and a half to two hours. It was within like a two to three hour period, I think probably on a Thursday afternoon. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is like incredible. Maybe it was a Friday afternoon, end of the week. And I was like, this is incredible. It was a Friday afternoon. I, I just wrote 5,000 words. This is more content that I've ever produced for a blog for my business, <laughs> literally ever. This is great. If I can write 5,000 words in an afternoon, I bet I can write a book on this that I could print off and I could send to clients that would hopefully show that I know what I'm talking about with Amazon listings and turn that into business, right? That's my idea from the start. So I said, okay, let's do it. Let's challenge myself to put Jasper to the test and write this book in an afternoon, not an afternoon, in a weekend. And Rachel, now my fiance, as well as the head of growth now at the AI author, she was there with me that weekend. She can attest to this. I basically went and locked myself in my office for an entire weekend and just heads down, what can Jasper help me do? Never written a book before. I said, okay, I'm going to print this on Amazon and I'm going to write 
15, 20,000 words. i made an outline. I broke it into parts and I went and published that book, Amazon Copywriting Secrets. And because it was uploaded and published on Amazon at the time, um, I printed it off after they approved it. And it was in like five days, I was holding the book in my hand and I was just like, this is incredible. Like, that's really cool. Just to be able to say that I published a book myself and I'm holding it in my hand now, and now I can print it and send it to anybody that I want. I thought that was the coolest thing in the world. And apparently a lot of other people did too, because I started telling Austin, I showed him, I was like, Hey man, check this out. <laughs> Cause he had been helping with some of the proof, like just the overview and strategy leading into like, over that weekend with what I was doing just in between breaks He's like, this is awesome. And talking with Dave, we put on a quick little like web, Hey, that guy's like, here's like literally the process I did to use Jasper to write a book. And I think it was something like 50,000 credits or so for anyone that, that completed the challenge that Dave put a prize out there for everyone that joined and completed the challenge of writing and publishing a short, just a quick book, quick, like expert style book on Amazon in a week. And we kicked off a seven day book challenge and over a dozen books that from people who I think the majority hadn't ever pr like published a book before necessarily. And there might've been some like exist. I know there for a fact, there was some existing content or authors already in there, but most of the people that had succeeded in that challenge had ran up to this, the same issue I did with writer's block with maybe it was like imposter syndrome and thinking that you have to write this just massive 50,000 word novel to have it be a book. And that simply isn't the case. And like in a lot of cases, you might've seen this for yourself that you've seen a lot of books like becoming shorter and shorter while their books will get longer and longer. That's totally fine. This isn't a competition to see who can write the shortest book, the quickest or the longest book, like the fastest with AI. The idea ultimately behind this challenge was to like break through that writer's block, get that book that's out of your head onto paper and share like your experience with the world, share your stories with the world and get it out there. And now you can use this book as basically the cornerstone for if you're doing nonfiction for your marketing, for like maybe a podcast outline, a roadmap for like how you already help clients exist, succeed, right? Like helping people get from step A all the way to the other half, the other side of the river, which we're going to break that down. What I mean that down here in this call today, but that was really cool. And what I realized after that challenge happened was like, okay, this is a great opportunity to not only dive even deeper into AI, but let's keep hosting like events like this. Let's keep working with the Jasper community and let's keep it like learning new ways that I could use this tool to create content, not just for my business, but also helping other people do business. And that's really where the idea of the AI author was born, which is now just over, over two years later, we're looking at an incredibly fast growing industry and in generative AI right now, new tools popping up all the time. There's a lot of flash in the pan ways to go about creating quick content to do all sorts of things. And there's also ways to just n learn how to apply this content in specific areas of your business to leverage and grow your business through either content production, through different versions of using new voice creation tools, slide decks, tools like Descript alongside Jasper that pair very well together for breaking down existing content and repurposing it to using like Jasper with a tool like Copy Pro, where you can create your entire marketing blueprint and then use Copy Pro's frameworks to basically be able to create endless sales pages, endless sales, emails, opt-ins, upsells, anything you could need to market and sell products like these tools and these tools combined with like the different stacks that you're using, depending on what your workflow is, can help you scale whatever type of content you want to do in ways that we've never even seen possible before. All that being said, like looking back at to what we're going to be covering today is like, how do we do this in seven days? And what I mean by that in seven days is not somebody who's going to come into this training and say, I'm going to write a bestseller that's going to hit the New York times and just be this, the next seven days are just going to put me on the New York times bestseller list because we're, like, that's not what we're talking about right now. What I'm talking about is creating a minimum viable book, whatever that means to you is the minimum version of something that you can produce in the form of a manuscript that you can then take to the next step of production, such as getting your advanced readers feedback, getting it to an editor who can start to give you real like support on the editing side of things to giving it just maybe to someone else on your team to turn it into different versions of like content for whatever you're doing, right? If you can produce 20, 25, 30,000 words of content for like a book that you're going to be creating that content that you can create. And that's a very real number that I've seen many people do inside of this challenge. Once you get in the flow of using Jasper. 
is you can take that content and repurpose it and reproduce it for all sorts of things, but also think that like your book doesn't need to be 25,000 words to do what it needs to do for you. Maybe you need really more of a micro book. Maybe this makes more sense to treat like a micro course that's just really quick, short, 5,000, 10,000 word like educational bit that is helping either your existing customers solve a specific problem or helping potential customers that you're looking for to solve a specific problem. Maybe you just want to write like a fiction story or create like a character that, that you're going to like use as your next main character in your next novel. And you want to like use AI to help you brainstorm with it. This same sort of framework can work with that too. And so it's very versatile in terms of how you can apply this seven day challenge format. We use books as like the primary example and as because that's a really good way to look at it from a top down, like 10,000 point view, but then everything inside of the books, we do cover that with how to go through AI and we're going to continue to cover it as we do at the AI author inside of our next live seven day book challenge, which again, if you aren't a member and you want to join us, us, go to the AIauthor.com 